Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Michelle. If you're new here, I am Mish Market on Poshmark and on Instagram. And uh, today we're gonna do some shipping. I'm gonna show you what sold yesterday, the day before. So two days of sales and let's just jump right into it. Okay, I actually just wanted to show real quick how I uh, set up to do my shipping. Um, I'll just pull out all of the items, write what the item is on the back of the label, pull the item from whatever the location is, um, and I've got the stack of clothing items right here, and then I just pack them up all in this area. Um, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on primarily. You're just going to be seeing the item as I'm packing it up. So, yes. Okay, so, of course the second, do you see him? No, you don't see him. My dog just walked into my office. Uh, this is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. I hope the crinkling isn't so loud. These sold for $40 and that was an offer someone sent on Poshmark and then my earnings are 32. So that's a pair of Eileen Fisher wide leg pants. Um, they're an extra small. Okay. This was actually something I sold on uh, Depop, and Depop's a new platform for me. I've only sold two items over there. This is the second, and um, it's a dress, and I think, I, I'm not an expert, but the e experience that I have, no, <laughs> um, just what I see on that platform is it's like a younger platform, lots of like trendier items, vintage items, uh, very 90s Y2K kinds of styles. Um, the audience on there, like the people who are using that platform are younger. They're like Gen Z people, millennials, that kind of thing. So anyway, I sold this for $25 plus $6 shipping. Um, and yeah. Um, the shipping ended up being a bit less, but then it did account for my fees. So in total, the buyer paid... Uh, like 31 something like that these are the Madewell boy jean okay the buyer paid 25 for these and my earnings were 20 I used to be able to spend like $10 something like that on a pair of Madewell jeans and feel like I was getting I was going to get a good um, a good profit but then now it's just it's just so different. You can't really sell Madewell jeans for as much anymore. The market's just really saturated. Um, and I think it also obviously depends on style, but yeah. These are some Lululemon joggers. They're actually really comfy. comfy. These sold for 45 my earnings were 36 so this was uh, another one that I received an offer. There was no shipping discount or anything. Normally when I'm like shipping and stuff, I'll listen to a podcast, but I figured it would just be way easier for me to like do this and film at the same time. So that's where we're at. I really hope these sounds aren't like incredibly harsh and loud. Okay, this um, I'm going to pack up in a box, but I'm not going to do it right now because it's too big. Um, and I'm, I do all of the boxed items separately, so I'm going to put this to the side. Next item, this is the Madewell Donegal hat. Isn't that so cute? It's like this like grayish oatmeal kind of color. I love that. Um, this hat actually sold for, 
that was $21. And so my earnings, I'm pretty sure I sent out an offer on that. Yeah, my earnings were 15 So that was a $1.80 shipping discount. Oh, but I made a sale. That's nice. Okay. This cardigan is so cute. <laughs> this is All Saints. This is like a, a oatmeal color cardigan. Um, I think I'm going to be putting pictures up here at, for the video. So you'll see it. But um, yeah, I wore this for a while. And um, yeah, it's just a really cute cute little color it's very lightweight and pretty sure it's merino wool but it sold let's see sold for 30 earnings were 24 i'm always like iffy about all saints i don't know do you guys have the same experience i feel like sometimes i'll pick it up and it just won't sell for that much A lot of people feel like that about Eileen Fisher too, and then I just sold something, so I guess it's kind of like... It's just one of those things. Moving along. This is a kimono. The video was paused because I received a call from the post office that they cannot access my building because they don't have the key to the lockbox to be able to enter to drop off mail. So I was just talking to them. They haven't been able to take any of my pickups either. So all of these packages I've been dropping off, um, I'm gonna have to text my landlord. Anyway, back to the shipping. Okay, this kimono was $10 and I earned $7.05 which I am more than happy with. I've had it for a very long time. There's honestly no better feeling than like selling something that you've had for so long. Those are the best. These were also mine. Well, not also, there wasn't anything else that was mine, but these pants, these were, um, these were mine from when I worked at Club Monaco many years ago. So that's what those are. They're a pair of wool joggers, and yeah, these sold for 27 they're a size 2, and I sent out an offer on these, so there was a $1.80 shipping discount. My earnings were $19.80. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like this dress. This one was, this is And Other Stories. I sold it for $39. My earnings were $29.40 after a $1.80 shipping discount. But look at this. Like all lace neckline. How cute. I do like to make sure that like bows and stuff are tied before I actually ship them off. Okay. I think at some point I'm going to stop using this twine and tissue paper and I'm just going to use like brown craft paper to wrap things. This is a thermal. So this thermal is from Free People. It's a We The Free thermal. And I think I've mentioned this in a video before, but I am getting pickier and pickier with the Free People that I pick up. If you can see it, this is the label. <laughs> This is a medium, um, and yeah, it was really cute. It's more of a heavyweight thermal, like, it's sort of this, it's got this, like, dual layer thing going on, but it's cute. It's like a dark gray color. Uh, anyway, it sold for 18 and that was an offer that I received, and I just took it. It, the earnings on this were fourteen forty. All right, so I'm going to build some boxes first. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wish my office was cleaner, but it's just not. All right, so let's see.
moving the boxes back, making space. This is a pair of Vince Camuto, Vince Camuto boots. Very cute. They're like some leather moto booties. I actually used to wear these. These are mine. Um, and yeah, they sold. So these sold for 36 and the earnings were 27 with a $1.80 shipping discount. I think I had them listed around 50 and they're in good condition and I knew they would sell for winter. Um, so yeah. The medium flat rate box is my favorite for shipping shoes. It's just like, it's the perfect size for pretty much everything. So, oh, that's way too much. Whatever, oh my God. Should I cut it? That'll probably be enough for something else, so yeah. And then it looks just like the other items that I packaged with the, the twine and the tape. So. Sorry. I think it's loud. Next. This is a J. Crew blazer. Yeah, this is like a crushed velvet blazer. It sold for $39, and that was an offer sent to me. My earnings were $31.20. This is a cardigan, the Sun and Shadow cardigan. Um, this one, I believe, sold for $22. Let me see, let me see. Yeah, $22, which is sweet. This was also another, wow, I'm selling a lot of my own personal stuff. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realize, but that was also mine. I don't normally do this where I'm like in this, at this angle, but I figure, you know, I don't know. It'd be better, better lighting. It's more interesting, I think. No? I don't know. If this video is boring, you can let me know. <laughs> What's next? Shoes. The shoes I'll pack individually, so I'll wrap them one by one. This is a pair of, I'm gonna wrap them and then I'll start talking. Okay, so these DVF boots I sold for 25. I think I probably could have held out for more Maybe, um, I just had them for a while and I really wanted to get rid of them. They were also damaged. It was just like the pull tabs were a little bit broken. Yeah, they were just, they had, they showed some wear. Okay, so this is a Woolrich, Woolrich vest. It sold for, let me see actually, it sold for 15. It was a double XL and my earnings were 10 20. This is another one I've had for a while. So I was happy to, happy to sell it. Almost done. Um, this was a Forever 21 item, which was also mine from way back when. And I sold it for 15, earnings were 10, 20. It's a pretty cute cardigan. This is it. Okay, this one is a Dooney and Burke bag. I sold this one for 70. So it was 70 and then my earnings were 5420. I actually purchased this bag um, for myself. I thrifted it, but I purchased it for myself, so I did pay up a bit for it. Um, it does have signs of wear. You can't really see from here, but you can see that there's like some marks and things, all of which I, disclo I disclosed in the listing. Um, but it's a vintage Dooney, so that still has value. All that shipping has me so tired. I'm shipping out one last thing, but this is from today, not from yesterday. It's just a free people top. It also sold for 15. I was sending out a lot of offers yesterday. So, anyway. Um, I think that just about wraps it up. And let's go over these numbers real quick. I just realized that the Forever 21 cardigan 
I actually sold that like really really early this morning so it doesn't really count in this weekend sales I mean I guess it could anyway between Saturday Sunday Monday I made four hundred and ninety three dollars in sales and let's see hold on I have to click the buttons three hundred and eighty and thirty two cents in earnings so not too shabby not a special weekend even though it was a three-day weekend yesterday was better than the rest for sure saturday i didn't really do much and yeah so um this is probably the better angle i'm gonna get myself some coffee and i'm gonna ship out that last item that i said just happened and then i'm gonna drop this off at the post office if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more fun content like this. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me a DM or comment or whatever. <laughs> but make sure you ring the bell for notifications so when I upload another video, you will be notified. And I think that's everything. If you like this video, I already said that. That's it, that's everything. That's actually everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.